Let us compare the abilities to detect radio bugs using RAXA selective RF detector and broadband LED field indicators. Broadband field indicators measure the integral level of electromagnetic radiation, which is affected by both radio and external sources, such as broadcasting, television stations and mobile base stations. As a test source of radio bug simulator, we are using frequency synthesizer base plate. This will allow us to adjust the desired frequency and the level of test signal. In this case, there is a frequency of 433 MHz, which is most typical for radio bugs, and power output is less than 1 mW. The comparison will be conducted using two conventional broadband land indicators. Let's estimate the distance for radio bug detection using first indicator. Firstly, we are adjusting detection threshold so that there were no luminous scale segments. Further, we are moving the field indicator to the test source until the luminous scale segments appear. It is clear that the one or two segments appeared at a distance of about 30 cm. This is the typical detection range for a radio bug. Second indicator field at this point, two or three signals glow. When approaching to the simulator at a distance of 10 cm, there is another segment, and the detection range will be the same. RAXA RF detector has several modes. The easiest is search mode which almost reflect the mode in which broadband field indicators operate. It shows maximum signal at this particular point. We see that the frequency of 934 MHz, this is the frequency of base station GSM 900, reaches its maximum level at this point. We are moving the device closer to the test signal source. It is clear that at a distance of 30-40 cm the frequency of 433 MHz appears on the display. This is the frequency the test source operates at. In order to increase detection range we can use different search mode. In this case those radio signals are stored first that were received at this particular point. Further, when moving, their value is subtracted from the received signals. In this case, there is also a signal of 433 MHz from the radio bug. Maximum detection range can be obtained using sweep mode. In this case, all the signals within this point are received. There is a 934 MHz signal, a base station signal, and a signal of 400 33 megahertz. At this point, the signal from radio bug at 433 megahertz is lower than the background signal from the base station. That's why the detection of source at a given distance via broadband field indicator is not possible. However, the use of sweep mode allows to receive the signal and uh, having adjusted to it according to the level on the display 
locate the source of radio signal. Thus, in a city where there is a considerable background level of radio emission from broadcasting, television stations, mobile stations, the applicability of broadband land field indicators is very limited. In this case, it is more appropriate to recommend a selective RF detector and RAXA in particular.